On the 28th of May, the Turkish Sultan had instructions given to the sound of the trumpet throughout his camp, that under pain of death, all his pashas and their lieutenants, and all the rest of his captains and men of any other condition who had the Turks as their rulers, should be ready at their posts all day, because tomorrow he intended to make a general attack on the wretched city. When these orders had passed through the camp, they all went quickly to their posts, with as much speed as possible. But, all the rest of the day, from dawn until nightfall, the Turks did nothing except bring very long ladders to the walls, in order to make use of them on the next day, which was to be the climax of the attack. There were about 2,000 of these ladders, and after they brought up a great number of hurdles, to protect the men who were to raise the ladders up to the walls. When this had been done, the Turks went sounding trumpets through their camp and castanets and tambourines to encourage the people there, saying, Children of Mahomet, be of good cheer. Tomorrow we shall have so many Christians in our hands that we shall sell them into slavery at two for a ducat. And we shall have such riches that we shall be all of gold. And from the beards of the Greeks, we shall make leashes to tie up our dogs, and their wives and their sons shall be slaves. So be of good cheer, children of Mahomet, and be ready to die with a stout heart for love of our Mahomet. And in this way, the pagans went about their camp, giving encouragement. After this, they had an order cried throughout their camp that every Turk under pain of death should stand and move and do everything as ordered by his officers. As evening came on, all the Turks went in good order to their posts with their weapons and great mountains of arrows. And by the time the evening had come, they had all reached their positions, all of good heart and eager to join battle and all praying to their Mahomet to help them to victory. This day they bombarded the poor wall so heavily that it was a thing not of this world. And this they did because it was the day for ending the bombardment. On this day we Christians made seven cartloads of mantelets to put on the battlements on the landward side. When these mantelets had been made they were brought to the piazza and the bailo ordered the Greeks to carry them at once to the walls. But the Greeks refused to do so unless they were paid. And there was an argument that evening, because we Venetians were willing to pay cash to those who carried them, and the Greeks did not want to pay. When at last the mantelets were taken to the walls, it was dark, and they could not be put on the battlements for the attack. And we did not have the use of them, because of the greed of the Greeks. At midday, the Bailo ordered that everyone who called himself a Venetian should go to the walls on the landward side for the love of God and for the sake of the city and for the honor of the Christian faith, and that everyone should be of good heart and ready to die at his post. And everyone with a good heart obeyed the orders of the Bailo we put ourselves in order as best we could. And in the same way, we put the fleet in order, particularly the harbor boom and all the ships and galleys. The Turkish Sultan also rode with 10,000 horsemen to his fleet at the columns to see what condition they were in and to put them in order for the general attack on the next day. And he made arrangements with his admiral for the way in which they should attack. When this had been done, the Sultan proceeded to make merry with his admiral and all his officers, and they all got drunk together according to their custom. Then the Sultan returned to his camp and continued to make merry at his post. All this day the tocsin was sounded in the city to make everyone take up their posts, and women and children too carried stones to the walls to put them on the battlements so that they could be hurled down upon the Turks. And everyone went weeping through the city 
from the great fear of them which they had. One hour after dark, the Turks in their camp began to light a terrifying number of fires, much greater than they had lit on the two previous nights. But worse than this, it was their shouting, which was more than we Christians could bear. And together with their shouting, they fired a great number of cannon and guns, and hurled stones without number. So that to us it seemed to be a very inferno. Their celebrations and festivities lasted until midnight. And then the fires died out, and all this day and night the pagans were praying to their Mehmet that he should give them victory and the capture of this city of Constantinople. And we Christians all through the day and night prayed to God and to his mother, the Madonna Saint Mary, and to all the saints in the heavens, praying tearfully to them that they should give us the victory and that we should escape the fury of these wicked pagans. And when each side had prayed for victory, they to their God and we to ours, our God in heaven determined with his mother which of us should be successful in this battle, which was to be so fierce and was to be concluded on the following day.